Rehearsals begin today for Sunday night's Grammy Awards on CBS amid a whirlwind of controversy around the group that puts them on. Suspended Recording Academy CEO Deborah Dugan is alleging major voting irregularities and sexual harassment within the organization. Now host Alicia Keys is canceling all interviews and the Academy has dropped today's ceremonial red carpet rollout for the media. Jamie Ucas is in Los Angeles. How else is this affecting the show, Jamie? Well, Anthony, Billie Eilish, Lizzo, and Ariana Grande are still set to perform, but Dugan's allegations are also taking center stage. Among the most serious is that the Grammys are rigged with secret committees selecting the final list of nominees, some of whom might not have been the top choices of voting Academy members. Oh no, let's go, let's go crazy. As in years past, the Recording Academy is still promoting Sunday night's Grammy Awards as music's biggest night. But Deborah Dugan's accusations are putting a harsh spotlight on the integrity of the nominations. Variety senior music editor Jem Aswad. The industry's general reaction to this complaint has been horror. Dugan was put on administrative leave last week after she was accused of misconduct. She then leveled her own accusations against the Academy in a complaint filed Tuesday, saying in part that nomination review committees are shrouded in secrecy and ultimately control, in large part, who is nominated. She claims one artist who came in 18th in initial voting for Song of the Year not only sat on the committee deciding those nominees, but is represented by a member of the Academy board. She says that artist wound up as one of the final nominees. I got an earful about how angry the creative community is about it. There has not been a smoking gun quite like this one. Dugan's complaint also highlighted examples of the Academy's alleged lack of diversity, saying minority groups are historically underrepresented as both nominees and winners. She pointed to Adele's win over Beyonce for Best Album in 2017, which even appeared to shock the artist herself. The Lemonade album was just... So monumental, Beyonce, it was so monumental. On Wednesday, four women serving on the Board of Trustees released a statement defending the Academy and its Diversity and Inclusion Task Force, launched in 2018. They say the task force has created a clear path to follow and opened the door to building even more bridges to the music community at large. Behind the scenes at the Recording Academy, it's probably pretty chaotic and pretty alarmed right now. Clearly, they did not anticipate what has happened. Now, in that complaint filed on Tuesday, Dugan also claimed that her predecessor, former CEO Neil Portnow, was accused of rape, and that was the real reason his contract was not renewed. Portnow released a statement yesterday calling those allegations ludicrous and untrue, going on to say that he was completely exonerated by an in-depth, independent investigation. And the president of the Recording Academy now says two independent investigations have been launched. He says he will work to make, quote, needed repairs and changes based on those findings. Anthony. Yeah, a lot of turmoil, Jamie. Thank you. And in our next hour, Deborah Dugan will be here in Studio 57 to talk about this controversy.